Imagine, 600 miles, or even beyond 1,000, without making the battery any bigger. Sounds crazy, right? But yep, there's a battery that can actually pull that off. It looks simple, but it can hold not just 10 times, but up to 40 times more energy than the lithium-ion batteries we use today. Lithium sulfur? Close, but nope. Those batteries are about two times as energy-dense as lithium-ion, and they're set to hit the market in just a few years. But here's where it gets even more exciting. We're talking about the lithium air battery. This one literally makes electricity by breathing in oxygen from the air. Inside, lithium metal reacts with that oxygen to form lithium oxide. And because it pulls oxygen straight from outside, there's no need to load it with heavy metals like cobalt or nickel. That means a simpler design, lighter weight, and way more juice. Basically, if there's air, this dream battery could work. So let's talk numbers. Lithium ion, about 250 watt hours per kilogram. Lithium sulfur, around 500 watt hours per kilogram, about double. And lithium air, in theory, a massive 11,000 watt hours per kilogram. That's pretty much on par with gasoline. The big idea here, maximizing energy efficiency by achieving high potential at low density. That's the direction next-gen batteries are headed. But here's the tricky part, charging. As the battery discharges, lithium oxide piles up like white gunk, covering the electrode and blocking electrons kind of like a clogged drain. To recharge, that solid has to be broken back down, but it takes high voltage, which damages the electrolyte. So performance drops and lifespan gets cut short. Now, if scientists can figure out how to break that solid down more easily and lower the charging voltage, we're talking EVs that cruise over 600 miles, drones that fly all day, electric planes, even flying taxis, lithium air batteries. Could they be the game changer? Ride along with us for more battery science, hit subscribe.